So I've got your sample text file, just a little bit of simple text, German to Portuguese. So I'll show you how to convert this. So the easiest thing to do is, first of all, just give it a header. So German to Portuguese. Portuguese. Save that. And then all you need to do is, if you go to Studio, if you've installed the project glossaries, all the glossary converter, you can use this glossary converter tool. So it is a standalone tool, but if you've installed the glossary plugin, it installs the standalone tool as well in here, or it links to it from here anyway. So I start it up like that. And this is what it looks like. This is the glossary converter. Click on the settings and make sure that you've picked TMX and that this box down here is checked to use the selected output format for the input format you check in. So I've selected TMX and I've said convert to TMX. Click on OK. Then go back to your file. So pick it up and just drag and drop it straight into there like that. If it doesn't recognize as the language straight away, you can just click on language and you can set the language, decide which one you want it to be. But in my case, because I've obviously used German and Portuguese before, it's picked them up straight away. Um, I click on OK. And that's it. You see now I've got a TMX. When I select it for, there you go. Perfect. So to get that in studio, you asked another question whether or not you could have German Portuguese and also have Portuguese to German. You can actually use your um, German Portuguese in a Portuguese German project by adding the T by adding the TM using the NETM plugin. So if you click on your project settings and go to your language pairs and then you click on add and if you add any TM then you can add the TM in the German Portuguese direction even though it's a Portuguese German project in fact you can add it in any project if you use any TM um, but if you don't want to do that and this is built into studio 2015 so you have that already but if you do want separate TMs the way to do it is simple go to your translation memories view to upgrade it is really simple because you obviously you know how to do this already. You just upgrade, add file based TMs. So you add it in there like that and finish and it goes through and that's it. So now you can see I've now got a TM there, which if I open it up in studio, looks like that, German to Portuguese. If I want one in the opposite direction, uh, German to, sorry, Portuguese to German, then all I need to do is I can create a new one like this and I say um, Portuguese, Portuguese Portugal to German Germany and I'll just call this PO Portugal to Germany Germany that's what I'll call it so I'll create a new one like that and then all I need to do is I just import that same TMX. But because I've selected the, or because I've created the Studio TM in the opposite direction, when I import it in, now I'm in the opposite direction. So it doesn't matter what, the, what direction the TMX is in, if you import it into a TM in Studio, you can import it in either way, depending on what the TM is. So I hope that answers your question.